How the hell did you get up here? Carl downstairs and I go back. Well, you can take Carl back where you came from because you need an appointment to be here. I have something I need to deliver to Harvey. Then I suggest you leave it with his secretary, Gretchen. His secretary, Gretchen. Now, there's three words I never thought I'd hear you say. Ooh, how long has it been since Harvey dumped you onto Lewis's desk? How long has it been since I slapped you in the face? Because that is all I can think about right now. Promises, promises. If you're here to take back your old office, Daniel, don't break out the measuring tape just yet because your plan to worm your way in just failed. So you can walk your ass out the same way you walked in? Lewis, it's so fascinating seeing you and Harvey united like this after all you must have been through. What are you talking about? Her. I see you finally got the better of him on something. I didn't get the better of him on anything. There's no daylight between us. Now get the hell out of here. And do it quick before I have to call security to tell them I'm beating the shit out of you. No need. Since you're not interested in what I have to say, I'll go see Jessica. And just between us chickens, there's a chasm of daylight between you two. I'm telling you, it's Cutie Pie Cosmetics. Joan's ready to retire. No one gives a shit about Joan Walsh's business. It's Snyder Communications. Why? Because they're your client? No, because they were Jack's client, and now they're my client. So this is all about you. Lewis, calm down. No, this is all about you. You know what? You're the one who gave Hardman the opening he needed. Did you hear what I just said? Excuse me? Yeah, you heard me. This wouldn't be happening if you didn't try to suspend me. After you punch me in the face. So if you really want to know who's at fault here, why don't you go take a look in the mirror? That's enough. This is exactly what Hardman wants. He's trying to get us to turn on each other. Well, the fight is out there, not in here. And we have to figure out who Hardman's target is. Where the hell are you going? You're right. The fight is out there, but Jack Soloff's in here. You think it's a good idea to let him go after Jack? Oh, what's he going to do, make him less on our side? <sighs> right. Son of a bitch! Lewis, is something wrong? See this? It contains everything on God's green earth there is to know about Jack Edward Soloff, from his pirate beard to his stupid pen that he carries around like Linus's blanket. And? And there's no dirt on him. There's not one case he crossed the line on. There's no debts, nothing. Lewis. Did you hear me? If Soloff did something and Harbin's a part of it, it is buried so deep, we'll never even see the top of it, let alone get to the bottom of it. Lewis, I'm about to tell you something I never thought I would. What? The night that Harvey and Mike put it together about Daniel and CM, they got stoned first. What? They thought you and Daniel had them and they were screwed and they figured, what the hell? So they bought some marijuana and they got high. Are you suggesting we take the pot? Work for them. Well, it's not gonna work for me. Lewis. Donna, look at me. Do I look like someone who needs to be hungry and paranoid? Relax, it was just a suggestion. Well, it was a stupid goddamn suggestion. And if that's all you have, just walk your ass out of here. Lewis, what is going on? Why are you so angry at me? I'm not angry at you. I'm angry at myself. Lewis. After the vote, Harvey told me it was my fault. And you wanna know what? He's right. Harvey says a lot of things. You told me too. What? This whole thing started because I told Jack that he could bring up Harvey's compensation for a vote, and you told me not to. Well, then maybe it's my fault, too. Because this whole thing really started when you tried to make things right with Harvey for me coming to work for you. Donna, are you saying you regret coming to me? No, Lewis. I'm saying maybe I had a hand in this, too. What do we do now? We keep looking together, and if we can't find anything, then we tell Jessica the truth. 